at the last minute, I had a chance to interview a couple of pro marathoners before they headed over to Budapest for the World Championships Marathon. So it's time to hop on a plane for a very short trip back to Colorado, where I'll do some interviews, eat some food, and then go for a little hike. Yo, what's going on? It is about 8.15 in the morning here on a Thursday, back in Boulder. Today, I got something very special planned. I'm gonna be meeting up with Lindsay Flanagan, pro marathoner for ASICS. In about two weeks, she's gonna be heading to Budapest to compete for the United States at World Championships. I'm gonna check in with her today, see how her training is going, and get some thoughts on her upcoming big race. For the first of two easy runs on the day, Lindsay suggested that we meet up at the Boulder Reservoir, a popular local running and cycling spot. I'm out here running with Lindsay. I'm really working so to get up this hill. She's really relaxed. <laughs> He's, he's doing awesome. We are on an uphill right now. Um, but it's a nice day. It is. We're it's sub 70 degrees. It's beautiful out today. We kind of have the whole place to ourselves. It's been really quiet. Which is kind of crazy because normally this is kind of like one of the most packed, uh, probably one of our most packed like training spots. Okay. Alright guys. About 10K Whew. into the run. I'm tired. That was hard. I can't breathe. Lindsay's going out for another 20 minutes, another couple miles, a few miles. I'm gonna grab, switch to some other cameras and try to catch her on the way back. All right, got the big camera. Lindsay went out that way. She's gonna be doing a little out and back to finish out her run today. Then we'll do some strides or she'll do some strides. <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna do those with her, uh, but I think this is gonna be a nice backdrop. Hopefully I can get her to do them over here. It's so beautiful out here. It is now a little bit after two o'clock. I got back from the run. I was pretty wiped out. I know it wasn't that fast of a run and it wasn't that long. About 10K at about 8.15 per mile. Easy run for Lindsay. And then she actually added on uh, about three more miles onto her run. But for me, at this altitude, that's a hard run. So it was like a moderate effort for me out there, a little bit of a tempo run. And I took a really long nap because it's such a nice hotel bed. I thought I'd give it a shot now go out, get some food, and there's one place that I absolutely love going whenever I'm here in Boulder. The Scratch Cafe is a confusing little spot that I like so much, I've stopped trying to figure it out. It's run by the same hydration and nutrition company that makes some of my favorite drink mixes and runner food, but that's not really what the cafe is about. It's a vegetarian friendly fast casual spot that serves up oatmeal and burritos for breakfast and a killer of rice bowl for lunch. I always get the scratch house bowl and add tofu and egg. They do also sell scratch hydration products at the cafe, but if you've got a bottle or a flask candy, they've got a free fountain of scratch that you can help yourself to. I took my meal back to the hotel, ate in the comfort of a darkened hotel room, and rested up for the second run of the day that would come in just a couple hours. Here, Davidson Mesa, double run of the day, just an easy four miles. Oh, 
on the, on the path. But it's beautiful. Lindsay also gave me a more traditional interview. And if you'd like to see that full discussion, I'll post a link in the description. It does not seem like it because it's so bright out, but it is a little bit after six o'clock now. Got back from the run, had a lot of fun talking with Lindsay again. Thankfully, she uh, slowed down just a little bit so I can keep up with her on her second run of the day. And uh, now, I really feel like I should go out, meet somebody. I got a lot of friends that live in town. I even have some friends that are visiting town right now, coincidentally. But I am going to instead get dinner and go to bed early. Uh, the plans for tomorrow have changed just a little bit, but I got to be in Colorado Springs ready to run at 6.30 a.m. And I'm not even going to be running. I'm just going to be running to kind of film the workout, not doing the whole run. So that's a little bit of a relief. Cause I'm not gonna have to run so hard or so far, but uh, I do feel like it's gonna be a little bit of a workout for me to try to keep up with Elkana tomorrow. But to get there on time, I think I'm really gonna have to get ready to leave by like 4.30 tomorrow morning. So it's gonna be an early night for me. I'm gonna get some dinner. I saw a sign for a plant-based chicken place that sounded delicious. So I'm gonna see if that's still open, check that out and then uh, eat in the hotel room and kind of have a quiet night in. And try to rest these legs for tomorrow. Good morning guys, it is 4.10 in the morning here on a Friday in Boulder, Colorado. I got everything packed up now and then I'm going to drive about an hour and a half, hour 45 minutes down to Colorado Springs to meet Elkana Quebec. It is now a little bit before 6.30. This is when I'm supposed to be meeting Alcana, and he dropped a pin for me to meet him down here. And uh, it's in Colorado Springs at a Coles parking lot. The view is absolutely stunning. The mountains out here are gorgeous. Once the sun finally did rise, I got a really nice view on the drive down here. It was really beautiful and scenic. I hope I'm in the right spot. Right, guys, we're about two miles into the run for today. Yes. At Alcana's easy pace. Yeah, uh, this is like easy. I just want to like, but this is about the same when I get started. Okay. Like mile three is where I always increase a little bit, go maybe 640. Okay. Yeah. Well, thankfully, but it's, it's he's okay. slowing. We can, do, we, can, we can go this way today. Yeah, he's slowing down quite a bit for me. We're about 710, 715 a mile, which is, for me at altitude, a pretty difficult effort. I'll try to keep up. All right guys, two and a half miles in. Our car's gonna go three miles out, so, He's gonna run a mile, half mile out, half mile back. I need to take a breather. And then I'll catch him on the way back. Hopefully get him for the last two miles of uh, 10K for today for me. And then he's got another six to do after that. So I'm gonna try to film him while he's doing that. I am almost back to the car now. And I thought Elkana would have caught me by now. 
So hopefully he's not back there waiting for me where I dropped him off. I'd like to see if I can, at this point, get to the car, grab the big camera, some different lenses, and then catch him for the second half of his run. I won't run with him, but I'd like to get some footage of it, so I'll try to switch out cameras real quick. Okay. Finally, kinda. Ooh, he's moving now. I just wanted to get a couple shots of him from the long lens. Nice straightaway shot. Get some of that footage. And then I'll keep walking, frankly. I need to rest. To rest myself and then try to run it in maybe like a last mile or so with him. But, man, running with this video camera and this zoom lens is heavy. Whew. Back in the car now, finished up the run with Alcana. I did about six miles total. He did about 12 and a half miles total. So I only ran with him for a little bit today. I tried to keep up with him, but man, he was really cooking by the end of that run. Uh, I think he was running like 6.15, 6.10s towards the end. So I can only really keep up with him for so long because uh, that's uh, closer to my 5K pace than it is uh, an easy day pace like it was for him. But now, uh, we're heading down the road a little bit further and uh, we're gonna get some breakfast. Down the road, Elkana took me to a place called Black Bear Diner. There are multiple locations in the Colorado Springs area and he picked this one because he thought it would be a bit less crowded. I continued my interview of Elkana over breakfast and I'll post a link to that interview down below. But here, let's talk about the food. The place had a giant menu and solid diner food. I had a veggie omelet, and Elkana had a California omelet with some spinach added in. Elkana loves spinach. And not only is he a very fast runner, he's also one of the fastest eaters I've ever shared a meal with. So there's been a slight change of plans today, guys. I was originally gonna spend the evening in Colorado Springs, but since I ended up finishing with Elkana a bit earlier than we had originally planned, I switched my flight to this evening. Now I have a couple extra hours to kill, so I thought I'd do one last thing before I got back on a plane to go home. I'm gonna confront my old nemesis, Stairs. My plan was to do the Manitou Incline. It's a bunch of stairs. I thought this was the right way. Now I'm not sure. It is a whole bunch of incline though. It's a nice hike, either way. All right, now there's a fork in the road. I don't know which way I'm going. I haven't seen any of the people. I feel like I should have seen a lot more people. So I'm gonna head back down and try and Ask someone for directions. Okay, definitely went the wrong way. Glad I turned around when I did. Really should have turned around earlier. But I'm back where I started. Parking for this area was $15. Had to bring cash. Even though the website says you need to make reservations, the parking lot guy was like, you don't need to make reservations anymore. And there is a little gift shop where you can buy drinks if you need it and porta potties. Now let's get to the start. It's 
every hundred stairs, they put a plaque to let you know how far you've come. I'm assuming it's every hundred stairs. I'm actually not sure. Just past the 900 mark. I think that means we're a third of the way there. You guys can't see it now because of my sunglasses, but I'm crying. This is hard. I think I'm about halfway. I'm not sure. I don't want to stop because I feel like it's going to be hard to start back up again. But I also don't want to ignore hydration. I'll take a water stop and we'll keep going. Sometimes the stairs are super steep double steps. Sometimes they're just regular. I like the regular. I don't know why I thought this would be fun. My quads are starting to give out. We did it. That's it. Just a quick 10 minute break. And I'm gonna head back down the stairs. There's another trail that goes that way that's a little bit more windy and switchbacky, but I'm feeling this is gonna be a little harder, but more direct. And uh, I'm on a schedule, I gotta get to the airport. My ears keep popping as we go downhill. And I'm definitely getting very lightheaded. I'm ready to be done. We made it. it. Took me about 55 minutes to get up there. 10 minute break. And then about 42, 45 minutes to get down. Whew. I had only a very little while to celebrate this victory over the stairs before I had to get back in the car to head back to the Denver airport. About 100 miles away. This was a quick trip to Colorado, my third in about a month. But this part of the country never disappoints. The views are breathtaking, the running is great, and the people always put a smile on my face. Yo, what's going on?